had a stupid baby message about do a video to explain what's going on with the with the strike for Indians, which we won't do. But at the very least, for those of you not knowing what's going on, just go to my Instagram. It's all over my Instagram. Didn't you put out a video though? I did. I did. They just rightly so. I mean, they said if we did something here, a lot more people well, would see it. I shared it on. Oh, I shared it on the. Community. I didn't know that. So yeah, there's a video on our community post. He shared my video I made about why the strike's going on and Ugh. hashtag Viola Davis, baby. Josh. Hey, welcome back to our stupid directs. I'm Corbin. We're on strike. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter, for more juicy content. Thank you very much for watching the Patreon. So like button. Mm. Hot. Oh. Oh. Welcome to our stupid reactions. Uh, then we got another video from. Um, that should be part of our new intro. <laughs> it's so. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's true. It is another video from. Ronak Mangotil, and I've mispronounced it. His so channel, we've forgive seen a me. couple from him. Uh, you'll recognize him. He's yeah. uh, that gentleman right there. Yeah. Uh, makes some really good content. Obviously, go check him out. Put the link in the description below. Um, but this is most underrated, misunderstood Malayalam movies that deserve more love. Okay. So hopefully, this gives us some ideas to watch some more Malayalam movies yes. that we haven't seen before. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so if there are some in here that we should watch, please let us know. If not, if there's others that weren't in here that we should watch, please let us know in the comments below as well. Yep. Uh, always down to explore more Malayalam movies because that is a very good industry. In the last 10 years, everyone seems to have suddenly woken up to the magic of Malayalam cinema, an industry that's been producing absolute masterpieces since decades. But within these masterpieces... Wow. Not He's right. No, I wish we hadn't heard more. There are many underrated, misunderstood, commercially unsuccessful gems that didn't get the love that they deserved when they released, and that's what today's video is about. But before we start with the list, few weeks back, I did a giveaway collab with Nokio, and the winners of that giveaway will be getting a 500 rupees worth gift voucher from Fully Filmy. And to the rest of you who could not participate that time, I'm going to tell you how you can win the giveaway in just a little bit. But first, let's start with the list. Tuwana Tumbigal. Today, Padma Rajan's Tuwana Tumbigal is one of Malayalam cinema's greatest cult classics we've seen back that in the we have seen that of how progressive it was how unafraid it was to show its protagonist really good movie a flawed man leading a double life of a pure family man in his village and a playboy in the city a double life that flowed into his relationships as well falling in love with two women with one of them being a sex worker dealing with such themes and characters can go in any direction with other filmmakers but Padma Rajan's deep understanding of human relationships and emotions his novelistic approach to filmmaking and the sensitive non-judgmental lens that he applies to the world of his films makes Tuvana Tumbigal one of the most romantic movies ever made. The way he uses Rain as a character that makes its appearance at particular points in the relationship between Jaya Krishnan and Clara, which is elevated by Johnson's iconic BGM. For today's audience, it's usually difficult to watch an older film because of the heightened melodrama or the dated ideologies of the time. But this film is a vibe. Iblis. I don't know why, but fantasy as a genre is not very much explored in Indian Iblis? cinema, especially considering yeah. how many stories we have in our mythology. What is life? What's the right way to live it? How to perceive death and especially life after death. Every culture has its own interpretation of life after death and the world of Iblis has its own set of answers that will actually make you wonder, look at things that are happening around you and ask yourself, are these just coincidences or random events or I'm is interested. someone from the beyond actually trying to communicate? Let us know. If all the childish energy, curiosity and innocence that you used to have could be taken and stored inside a jar of sweets, that jar shot. is Iblis. Unbelievable that Rohit VS is the same guy who made this film and also Kala, which is so different in terms of themes, style, treatment and perspective of the world. Love. This film might be triggering, disturbing, the black humor may not work for everyone, and the way the film progresses might even confuse you. But personally, once in a while, I like to watch films which can actually mess with my mind. After seeing that I love that movie. The Rick credits, did not like that I movie. I had no idea what I was going in for, and half an hour into it, it started feeling less like a film 
and started playing out more like a video game featuring a married couple stuck in the situation and all the choices that lie ahead to get out of it. Imagine taking Sri Ram Raghavan, David Fincher, Tyagarajan Kumar Raja, Anurag Kashyap and Ram Gopal Varma. Put them in a mixi, blend it all up and serve it as a dish. That is love. <laughs> I know it sounds messy and it is but in a good way. Probably Shine Tom Chako's best role yet and another unique film in Khalid Rahman's versatile filmography that includes Unda and Talumala. But even as I recommend this film, I have to give you a trigger warning. This movie is not for everyone. But something I can definitely recommend for everyone is Nokia. That was the same director as Ballad of Brawl. An app that solves the problem of what to watch next for you and your friends. I didn't make that and connection. Yeah, that's Ballad of Brawl. Yeah, that's Ballad of Brawl. Wow. If you want to play that, it's the same watch, director as Love. Wow. I must really love that director. No more <laughs> scrolling mindlessly on every OTT platform. No more searching through your WhatsApp messages for that one recommendation that your friend gave you months ago. No more going on IMDb or Letterboxd or YouTube or so many other sites to check reviews. Nokia solves all of that. You can check out the latest trending content playing on different platforms. Create circles of friends whose recommendations you really trust. Check out reviews and which platform that movie or show is playing on. Add them to your watch list and you can also recommend what you watched to your circle of friends. Easy. And now to take part in this week's giveaway, all you have to do is download the Nokia app on your phone. Add 10 new friends to the app. They can be your friends or family members or even your crush you're trying to impress with your film knowledge. Take a screenshot of your profile with at least 10 friends on it and then you can either I don't have 10 friends. Or you can what do I do? Start DM it. And the first 30 people to Shouldn't do this have been at the end of the video? 100 rupees worth gift watcher from Fully If you put yeah, ads also, in the middle just people are more likely to watch it because it's in the middle of the video. Recommendations with and also take recommendations from. So if you're a true cinephile don't forget to follow me there. Because if it's at the end they'll be like I'm just switching off. Let's get back to the list. Yeah, but I, I just switched off too. in terms of plot there's absolutely no connection. I've heard a lot about this movie now, actually. In terms of how it makes a kutu parota of so many different genres and also your brain. Over the last couple of years, I've had so many different people suggest this film to me without telling me what it's actually about. And when I started it, after seeing the first five minutes, I was confused whether this is a movie or some random documentary that I clicked on. But thankfully, I didn't stop it because, oh my God. Let's leave Malayalam cinema. This is one of the weirdest, most uniquely structured and produced I've heard a lot about this I've movie. across any language. To pull off what director Krishan did, you don't just need guts. You need a certain kind of madness, a non-judgmental love for different genres of cinema, comic books, and every form of storytelling, unbelievable clarity and vision of your final product, an original sense of humor, and genuine love for the world that we live in. I don't want to say, trust me, bro, but seriously, trust me, bro, cross the first five, 10 minutes, watch this film completely and tell me, did it blow your mind or did it blow your mind? Artist. Even though Fahad Fasil won the Kerala State Award for this film, the for early Best Actor, film. personally I feel that in the first half of this film, his performance as Michael Agnello, his purest, passionate artist, is still a little rough around the edges. But beyond that, this film belongs to its female protagonist, Gayatri, played by Anne Augustin, who also won the Kerala State Award that year. Struggling and sacrificing a lot of things to follow your own passion is one thing, but to give up a life that you could have had for the sake of someone else, for your partner to follow his passion, that's true sacrifice. Artist is a film without any big moments or big reveals, but the way that Michael and Gayu's relationship is captured in such a simple yet intense way is what really kept me hooked until the very end. You'll feel like punching Fahad Fasil's character for being such an asshole to Gayu, a woman who left everything behind for him and maybe you've seen such people around you in your real life. The next three films are all partly or fully set in prison. The first two are Buddha Kannadi and Sadayam. Instead of telling you their story, I'll tell you what these two films have in common. Both films have been written by two of Malayalam cinema's most iconic screenwriters. Lohit Das and M.T. Vasudevan Nair and you'll feel like both films have a very strong novel-like feel to them unfolding non-linearly in chapters. Both are about imprisoned men fully aware and guilt-free of the crime that they've committed with performances by Mamuti and Mohanlal that will haunt you for days. Both men are people who Intriguing. are intriguing. What do you think? By Should we watch everything them? that's going wrong with the world and how the same society is so careless and indifferent to what's happening around them. Both films will shock you at the end like someone punched you in your gut. 
and both of them failed initially at the box office but today have become cult classics the third is madhulagal directed by the legend adur gopalakrishnan who creates this world within the walls of a prison without any fancy camera work without any flashbacks and still manages to hook you with just a superb character played by an actor who is at the top of his game giving a performance that won him a national award that year bashir's equation with the jailers the other inmates the roses in his garden the woman on the other side of the wall whom he falls in love with without ever Man, to see her face and above everything else his ideologies that he expresses with a smile on his face while hiding so much pain inside what a journey into the mind of a man who will make you smile well up with tears affect your own ideologies and change your idea of what freedom really means nyan steve lopez between his debut romantic film anayom rasulum and the powerful kamati padam rajiv ravi made this small unassuming film that starts off as a stress free feel good coming of age drama and then boom escalates the film onto a whole new plane even though things get a little dark in the film especially in the second half there's an overall muted and lazy energy to the film but at the same time a lazy energy hooks you to this curious character called Steve who's just like any one of us with all his flaws but beneath all that is a good heart that's probably too good for this world yes good the eyes yeah is way for thin but how rajiv ravi decides to make it come alive visually considering his expertise as a cinematographer is what makes this film so what watchable. the freak the lens was that aspect is that one phone conversation that happens between Steve and his crush Anjali what a unique way to show a type of scene that's been done to death over so many decades of cinema and finally big b shout out to vishal menon from film companion for hyping this film so much for me and getting me to watch it and even though today it might seem a bit dated i can understand why vishal and fans like vishal would have loved it so much when it came out back in 2007 a few minutes into the film because of the unique lighting and camera angles which i hadn't seen personally in malayalam films from that time i saw a strong influence of peak ram gopal verma from the late 90s and early 2000s and wondered if there's any connection between the filmmaker amal nirad and ram gopal verma and indeed there is before getting into films amal nirad started his career as a cinematographer of documentaries music videos and ads and his diploma film somehow caught the attention of ram gopal verma who is a man who is known for constantly looking out for fresh talent and before you know it amal shot three films for rajiv and during that process maybe absorbed a lot of his style which you can so clearly see in big b Beyond the story of 2004 film Four Brothers that it's inspired from the way this film is shot and how it showed Mammootty in a brand new light is what makes this film so underrated today. It was an average performer at the box office initially when it released but today it's one of those movies that started a new chapter in Malayalam cinema in terms of making and style. Everyone has their own definition of the word underrated so I'd love to know what are your favorite Malayalam films that you think are underrated in the comments. And if you love Malayalam cinema which I think you do you should check out my other videos that I've made around malayalam cinema don't forget to download nokio and participate in the giveaway and for now thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video Whoa. i like his format i, I do so, too um i i all of those i was yeah. actually very interested in we uh, i think we had seen are, two two of them are any of the ones that were recommended here ones you've heard before from yes. super babies yeah lots yeah um we by the way if you've recommended them to me I just I only respond to personal messages because I don't want to have spoilers with anything at all. All the predominant place I want to be exposed to anything in Indian cinema for the first time is here. So Sorry. I'm, what you looking for? I'm trying to find the um the movie Love. Yeah. To see if it's if it's yeah. uh, ba um, Battle of the Brawls. Ba well, the same director. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Maybe that'll be easier. T H A L L U. There it is. Stop it. Raman. He did. Wow. wow. Okay. So yeah, you like yeah, that director really a lot. I like that director. Uh, I did too. I didn't I didn't like Love the way Corbin did. No, nowhere near cuz I yep. loved Love. You yep. do not like Love. Yep. Um, but you you did like Battle of Bras. Obviously. Oh, very much. That's what we call it cuz I can't pronounce Yeah, cuz we can't what, pronounce what, what it is. <laughs> we uh, we call it by that. Um but what else has he directed? What was the other thing? Was it Unda? I I feel like I've heard of Unda. 
Is that his other directorial? Does that have Mahmoud? Mahmoudi, yeah. And then Shine Tom Chaco. I thought, is Subin in it? No. I'm not seeing Subin. Uh, anyways, yeah, I did not know Love, yeah. and, and uh, that one was the same director. Uh, so that's interesting. Yeah, I, I a lot of these I did recognize in terms of people have recommended some, not all mm. of them, uh, but they were all super interesting. It seems like a lot of them had Mamudi or Mohanlal. Yeah, they sure did. What's the one? It was black and white, and the girls on the other side of the wall. Uh, yeah, it was one of is the that, prison ones. Is it? But, but is it how old do they fall into the realm of? Say a classic. They would for Malayalam. Yeah, um, that, obviously we always talk about that. My nineties is a classic for Malayalam. For Malayalam, right? I mean, technically it would be classic for all of them, but I don't for classic month. No, because, but because Hindi goes back to the yeah nineteen fifties. Yeah, so Malayalam earlier is too, but the golden age I feel like was e, late correct eighties nineties. Yeah, um, and so I, I make an exception because technically DDLJ that is a classic. Technically, yeah, right, yeah, it's what almost. 30 years? 30 years? Yeah, I've always felt if, if it's reached the quarter century mark. Yeah, it would technically be a classic. But yeah, a lot of these looked really interesting. The ones you talked about in the beginning, I think it was, no. It was the weird one. Even though, not that one. That one looked interesting. Um, the one with Mamudi? No. He said it was almost like a documentary. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot about that one as well. I can't find it. Um, but, yeah, you guys let us know if some of these are worthy of a watch. Um, uh, and we'll obviously happily do it. I think we've... I don't know if it's what we've seen the most of. I, mean, Hindi, I know we've seen most of Hindi. I know that's not what I'm saying. Um Okay, there's it. Okay. We've seen 18 Telugu's. 34 Malayalam, if everything is in there. Because mm -hmm. sometimes it's not. 30. Right, because it was it not on the, the channel. It says the exact same amount of Tamils as well. That doesn't surprise me. Yeah. So it looks like, oh, if if it's correct, I don't know if it is. Sometimes if I didn't add it, even though I try to add every single video, uh, Tamil and Malayalam are the exact same amount that we've seen. Uh, Hindi obviously has the most. Cause right. The first well, the first year was yeah, predominantly all, predominantly all Hindi. You just didn't know. Um, anyways, if we should watch some of these, please let us know what they should be down below and upload it for me so I can see it. Thank you. Josh!